what's really nice is we've managed to actually use the airbrush to create a very flawless but very sheer transparent um, makeup. When you're working with something quite vintage, it's nice to have a contemporary aspect, so we don't want to make it very matte and very, very dry. We've gone for a very bright, strong, bold lip, but again, not the classic red that would date us back to a vintage period, so bringing it forward, we've tried to keep it a much more sort of cerise red. This will be stained later and a lot softer. Washed with eyes, but the beauty of the airbrush skin is it really gives you a chance now to create, at the editorial perspective, a really good retouch finish, so you don't actually have to have post-production working too much on the images later, so it's actually post-production being done at the time of production, which is really exciting. And the skin here has actually been sprayed on with the airbrush to give us a really beautiful silicon effect finish. It gives you a really beautiful mannequin cast across the skin, which traditional makeup wouldn't really have given us. Particularly in a daylight shoe, it would have been heavier, and it could have looked a little bit more grease-based. So we really want to keep the natural element of the skin. Because we're going for quite a vintage, decadent, luxury feel, the lips have been kept quite soft and crimson. Not to go back to traditional red, but still to have a return to the glamour of a full-on, made-up mouth. Eyes being played quite soft to team up and not over-focus the actual decadence of the colour of the lip. So overall, very polished look, and I think what we've achieved here is something that's contemporary, but still definitely linked back to vintage roots.